Good morning to you. Happy Friday from the steps of my little old house in Devon. How are you doing? It is gorgeous. Can you hear the clock chiming? <laughs> I know I'm on time. Now I'm glowing this morning. I've just finished Lift Lean, which is our 30 minute strength training session. And we do, um, we use weights, hand weights, and we use uh, resistance bands, and we do hit. And we were absolutely this morning. Hi Lana, we work so hard. It is such a fantastic feeling to do a half hour session so early in the morning, totally sets you up for the day. Uh, so um, I was kind of wondering as I was dripping onto the floor, wondering why I'd bothered with a shower half an hour before. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one in a minute. Anyway, that was Lift Lean, that was day two done. We've got six left in this August, um, block we're doing 18 August to a week. Hello Karen, hello Sarah, <laughs> fantastic. So it is an absolutely beautiful day here and I think the weather's due to be nice all weekend uh, which is fantastic and I want to just remind you have you got many vegetables lined up for your meals this weekend? Now my veg box has just arrived if I'm actually sitting on the step if I show you here oh look there you go it's just arrived and um, let's go and have a look and see what's in it. Okay, so um, this is what's seasonal today. Spinach, lettuce, runner beans. Oh, organic mint. I wonder what I'm going to do with that. You put it in mojitos. <laughs> uh, runner beans. Oh, a pepper. Carrots and mushrooms. I kind of hope they were cherry tomatoes, but they're mushrooms. Oh, dear. We've got an aubergine. Anyone who knows me will know how I feel about aubergines. Nice. I'm not going <laughs> to... My daughter told me about aubergines and emojis and how I shouldn't be using them. And it was a sign that I was a middle-aged woman because I didn't know what it was. Thank you. But aubergines, I think you can stuff or roast. Is that right? Hello, Bev. Hello, Mary. Who knows what I can do with an aubergine? Any, can you tell me some way that I won't notice it's in my food? <laughs> it's the texture I'm not sure about with an aubergine. But they are beautiful, aren't they? They're beautiful to look at. Let me just shovel my veg back in my box. So I need your tips. Hello, Tracy Coombs. Good to see you. What can I do with my aubergine so that I don't really notice it's there? Can you put it in curry, maybe? What do you do with aubergines? I mean, that's the beauty, isn't it, um, of um, a veg box. It's very random, but it's all seasonal, which is fantastic. And um, what we tend to do is we sort of see what comes because we're not organised enough to organise it in advance. And then we sort of plan our meals around it. We could probably make a curry, couldn't we? Oh, Lorna, good idea, ratatouille. OK, I mean, I'm not a fan of mushrooms either, but if I chop them up small enough, I don't notice it. And I think that's probably what we're going to do with that... Um, with that aubergine so we could put it in curry uh we could what else could we do oh sarah collins she's good on vegetables our veg patch is producing lots at the moment a glut of yellow and green courgettes plus french beans lettuce perpetual spinach and tomatoes you could probably stock riverford's veg supply sarah couldn't you so karen says ratatouille moussaka and roast it okay that's what I'll do this weekend. I'll, I'll experiment. We've, um, our veg patch, Sarah, isn't anything like as productive as yours, but we did have like, you know, we, we celebrate the single tomato in our house because we've never grown vegetables before. We've had some courgettes and we did a really, really gorgeous vegetable filled frittata for tea last night. Um, so there were some leftover new potatoes and Andy put in some peppers and some garlic and some Oh, uh, uncooked broccoli florets, little fl broccoli florets, put them in the pan, chopped up courgettes, um, and then he poured, um, it was a big pan, so he did four eggs that he be beat up first, poured it in, you could barely see there was any egg because there was just so many vegetables, and it was absolutely delicious, um, and uh, we just sprinkled a tiny bit of cheese on top, um, and then after cooking it, he grilled it, and it was absolutely delicious, but it was so filling, I had it with a massive side salad, lots of lettuce on the side and cherry tomatoes. I only had a quarter. I had a quarter of the big pan. Normally, I would have eaten half of it. But I'm trying to kind of be a bit more careful with my portion sizes at the moment because I'm trying to do something about my, my mid-section my mid weight gain over lockdown. That was Cake City caused that. 
Anyway, so I went for a quarter and it was absolutely delicious. So um, any leftovers, make a frittata, which is an omelette. Um, and um, just, they're so filling. And of course you don't need bread at the side or garlic bread or anything, because it's just really, really filling in itself. So Sarah says, can't help with aubergines as I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, hello, Jay. Sarah loves a frittata. Yeah, load it with vegetables. It was just delicious. And um, this time he didn't pre-cook the courgettes, didn't pre-cook the broccoli. The only thing that had a quick bit of a fry was the onions. He chopped up red onions and, and garlic and then slightly sauteed those and then chucked all the vegetables in, put in the egg. Um, and I think what I really love, hi, Michelle, is that a frittata is a really instant meal. I mean, obviously, you've got to have the stuff in to shove in your frittata, but we had some new potatoes left over from earlier in the week, so dice them up, chop them in, absolutely perfect. And that is such a good, um, such a good evening meal, or such a good main meal. And um, it's quick, it's cheap, it's tasty, and I mean, you can put meat in if you want to. Um, you know, put whatever you've got in. Obviously, if you were putting meat in, it would have to be cooked meat. Um, but, um, oh, good, Michelle loves a frittata. Yeah, you can't beat it, can you? And I don't eat it cold, but I know you could you could heat it up the next day, couldn't you? You could have it hot for the next day. Um, so this weekend, see what vegetables you... I'm only frowning because it's so flipping sunny. It's amazing. Um, frittata leftovers are great for lunch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, see what veg you can cram in during your the, your weekend salads um, vegetables in your food next to your food round your food I just want you eating color because it is um, it's very tasty it's full of vitamins and minerals fiber all that but it's low in energy okay so lots of us who kind of eat too many calories and it's gone around our middle over the last you know few months um, what maybe want to be looking at our portion sizes and really eating plenty of um, vegetables. Um, we try and get you at Way to Fitness to have half a plateful of veg, quarter of a plateful of protein at least, and some carbs, okay? And really you want to be aiming for granary or wholemeal, brown carbs, not white carbs, okay? So we want to keep off white rice, white pasta. It'll sp spike your blood sugar up. Um, it would be much better. But the thing is, I reckon with frittata, you don't even need carbs on the side. Um, you know, by the time you've got your egg and your vegetables and your side salad, I mean, I didn't feel like I needed any. Um, but And listen to your appetite. And um, I think having a drink before, you, you know, a glass of water 20 minutes before you start is a really good idea. Now, this morning, we have got a really good chat at 9.30 on our Life Fit page, which is our like, health and well-being area of weight fitness at the moment and we are talking how to get fruit and vegetables into fatty teenagers that is our subject for the day so that's 9:30. Uh, join me on the life fit page and i've got pilates at 10 so it's been a busy busy morning which is fabulous um if you don't get our weekly newsletter let me know and i can send it by email it comes out every single sunday uh, at about six o'clock and it's um full of everything that we do we have like seven or is it eight different styles of exercise a week um from pilates to cardio to lift lean relax and stretch you name it we do it all on a closed facebook page but we also email the links to our members so if you know people who aren't on facebook but really want some great exercise that is suitable for all levels because i do different levels for different people um then um, let me know and we can email it to them. So it's very, very flexible. We do seated exercise as well. So for people who are maybe new to exercise or have got health issues with knees and stuff, you can you know, do a really good workout in a chair. So I hope you'll be able to join me very soon. And uh, first week is always free. Just try it and uh, take it from there. So have an amazing weekend. Flood your weekend with vegetables. I see you Monday morning. Bye. <laughs>